Welcome to another episode of Learning English with G. Lalwani. For my one-on-one -on -one consultancy sessions, the, uh, the details are given in the description box. You can always send me an email for more details. <laughs> okay, uh, in this episode, we will be covering one of the conversation killers. Again, this is personally my opinion. So is the rest of the video. Okay, um, conversation killers are something that destroy a conversation or uh, something that provoke the other person, hurt the other person, offend them, makes the conversation boring. These can also be conversation killers. Anything that actually destroys a conversation and doesn't allow it to go smoothly. Okay, so I will discuss many of such conversation killers in the uh, coming episodes, but today we will be discussing just one. Something that we must all avoid doing. The usage of the phrase, I know. Every time we say, I know, I know, I know, it becomes like this conversation killer. So let me tell you a few cases in which you can say I know and few cases in which you really should avoid using I know. One of the cases where you can say I know is, is when you really know or when you really have had that experience um, that the person is speaking about. For example, if, if uh, somebody asks you, uh, do you know where Taj Mahal is? And then you say, I know. So there it is perfectly all right. You know, in, in situations like this, conversations like this, when someone's asking you openly, if you know it, then say, I know. Or when um, someone is stating a fact and they, you know, look at you for approval or they try to, they just want to understand if you are aware of such a term, then you can say, I know. But let's say that someone is really emotional, okay? And uh, they're coming to you with like a breakup story, okay? They, they say that uh, a very sad thing happened to them. And before they, they, narrate their entire story we tell them i knew it i knew you would break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend i knew it that that business would would go for a flop you know when we say such things when an another when the other person is emotional it is very very wrong it is bad you know when someone is emotional you you don't want to prove a point that okay i knew this would happen i knew that would happen what will we get out of stating such things i hear so many people say this you know I knew it knew it this would happen that would happen to you no be kind to the other person and let them complete their story you know if they are hurt even if you know everything keep it to yourself let the other person express his or her emotion you know, let them tell, um, this happened to me, that happened to me, I felt like this. Let them complete the entire story and ask them more questions instead of being a know-it-all. Nobody likes a know-it-all who is always saying, I know this, I know this, I know that. No, I predicted this and we try to feel superior and we try to act great that I knew this. No. Be kind when it comes to emotions. Uh, so this is one situation that I can tell you and also generally when someone is very excited to come and tell you about you know some some of their experiences or something some fact that they discovered or they went to a place and they discovered something you might find it silly okay you might think that oh this is so normal everybody knows this but for the other person it is something special you know they're coming and trying to share that excitement or their happiness with you so do not kill it just by saying i know that way you're interrupting the conversation you're killing the emotions and the sentiments of the other person the happiness of the other person so um, try your best to limit the usage of this see even i do say i know sometimes you know, sometimes when a learner is sharing their experience or, or something, I might say, yeah, 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 I know, I know about it, I know about it. But we all have to try and avoid the usage of it. So slowly, day by day, I'm trying to put in a conscious effort to not say this. And 
I think even, you know, you should try to refrain from using it as much as possible. That will get the conversation going when you let the person state everything that they want and speak their heart out, you know. Um, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, let me know if you find any sense in what I'm saying right now. If you really think that it's a problem, if you think that it helps, I will try to come up with more conversation killers. You know, conversation killers are something that you, when you listen to them, you might not think it's a big deal, but it is actually a big deal and you will realize it the more you start conversing with different people and when you start facing such experiences. So um, be polite to everybody, be a great listener, uh, let people complete what they're saying, do not interrupt, okay? by and one of the ways that we interrupt somebody is by saying i know so i know it is hard uh, to get rid of such habits but uh, uh, let's try to put in a conscious effort to do so okay uh, thank you very much for watching if you have any doubts do let me know if you want to if you want me to elaborate more and you did not really understand why I'm saying this, do let me know. I will try to elaborate more in some other video or maybe even in the comments, I will try to explain as to why I said what I said. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> and also a special shout out to two of uh, uh, the subscribers, two, two of the learners, um, Believer and Rohan, who keep saying first, first, first. <laughs> I think it's hilarious and every every time I find it so funny and um, but thank you so much for the support I really uh, like it oh, it is very motivating when someone's just fighting to <laughs> type the first comment on your videos so I'm, I'm so sorry I don't know the actual name of believer but because I read it in the comments uh, that is what I know thank you very much for watching and I hope that you have a very good day